want to celebrate. But that doesn't mean that we're finished with unexpected surprises. Sorry, I'm a prior. <laughs> In June, my wife was diagnosed with hypothyroidism. And I have her permission to tell the story, so it's not a violation. <laughs> we had it well controlled within a few months, and she's been doing fine. But the Sunday before Thanksgiving, Janet told me she was growing more tired. She noticed some mild weight gain. Going to the bathroom more and being hungry more often. I thought, oh, no. <laughs> now what? I jumped into nurse mode and started formulating my differential diagnoses. <laughs> Thyroid problems were naturally first. Then other endocrine concerns. Diabetes, renal problems, pituitary damage. I couldn't land on it. I suggested seeing an internist, so she made an appointment for the following week. Now, this next part might be scary for my future patients regarding my assessment and clinical reasoning skills. <laughs> but it wasn't until Wednesday, three days later, that I had an epiphany. I said to Janet, there's one lab test I think you need, and we can do it here at home. <laughs> I think you need to take a pregnancy test. <laughs> So, to be sure, we quickly requested an ultrasound, and it's only one. <laughs> As you pass your NCLEX, because we're all going to pass on the first try, or UNC grads, and begin working as an RN, have faith.